our minds, you got to think about our minds. We naturally wander. We're always looking for things to attach to, always looking for stories or things to believe in or think about. It's just going to naturally uh, wander all over the place. And when it attaches to a thought, oftentimes, if it attaches to a negative thought, oh man, what if I hit it OB? Or what if I play poorly today and I embarrass myself? It's going to lock in on that thought. And it's the, this is the mind. This is the thought. It just latches on. And once it latches on, the more you focus on it, the more you stay there, it's going to grow. It's going to get bigger. And it's, the more you think about something, it's going to create a, a, an emotional experience, emotional reaction. And then we're going to start to feel whatever we're thinking. So if it's negative, we're going to feel that way. We're going to feel negative. And if you stay with those negative emotions, then you're going to behave that way. You're going to perform that way. The only way that we can detach from that thought is to bring our mind to focus on something else. Like you have to really find replacements. It's important for the mind to have distracting thoughts that are neither positive or negative. They're just more neutral thoughts like counting or thinking about a number or giving our mind something more neutral to think about. So one of the concepts that I introduced is a concept called GPS. And many of you know what that is. GPS stands for grip pressure scale, grip pressure scale. So on a scale from zero to 10, when you're holding the club and uh, let's say you are really, really nervous, pay attention to your grip pressure. What number do you normally grip the, the grip at? from zero to 10, 10 being you're squeezing the club and strangling it and zero being you're completely letting it go. When you're really anxious, when you're really nervous, what do you normally grip it at? Yeah, I feel like I had different portions. I think the one thing that you really highlighted for me was that the grip pressure changed at different phases of the swing. And so I would say that I could start out light, but then once I actually got into the swing, my pressure changed to an eight, nine, or 10 at different phases of the swing. Yeah. Okay, great. So are, are you guys hearing a theme? So when we're anxious, we're gripping the grip uh, a little tighter. When we're stressed, when we're anxious, we're gripping a little bit tighter. And if we do grip it tighter, guess what happens? Not only is our grip tight, but our forearms get tight and our arms get tight. And their shoulders get tight. And it's, it's just this whole chain reaction that happens. And so uh, one of the things that we talk about, and this is part of getting to neutral, there are many different ways to get to neutral. We talk about circle breathing, but here's another thing. When I'm over the ball and I'm thinking all these negative thoughts and I can't get them out of my head, I do circle breathing and I try to get to neutral, but still, I'm still fighting these negative thoughts. I give myself a, a, like a neutral distractor. I think about something else instead. You have to replace those thoughts. So what I do is I think about my grip pressure. And so think about when you're puring it, when you're absolutely hitting it beautifully and um, everything's easy. The game is easy. You're not even overthinking. You're just in the flow. Think about your ideal grip pressure. Most of the times people say it's right around three, four, a little under like half. That's where the sweet spot is for most people. It may be different for you. So what you got to do is you got to go the range and you got to experiment with it. So try gripping the pressure at a four, try gripping it at a three and take full swings. But here's the trick from start to finish. You're holding that same pressure from start to finish without changing that number. A lot of times, like what Steven was saying, you, you might start at a three and that's your ideal grip pressure. You start here, you start here, three, 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 three. And all of a sudden on the downswing, you you tighten up and it goes from three to eight without even noticing that. But once you put your mind to it, you have to concentrate on it. You have to focus on it. And guess what? 
We can only focus on one thing at a time. 